Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We're back on corn silk. <laughs> Why did I say corn silk? Uh, we're back on uh, corn belt. Corn silk. Um, and I want to show you what I finally did with the trains before we get started back in the fields. And let's get to the trains, 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 trains. All right, let's see. Not that one, not that one. Uh, this one. Okay, now, here's the thing. Um, I had somebody suggest in a comment, uh, Valenta Slim Roast suggested that I go in and reset the cars to hold all the grains. Well, I'd already done that. It didn't work. And... Um, because the, there's something wrong on this map, on the, just this map. It's not, well, it's not wrong. I shouldn't say that. There's something different on this map that it did not work. It had already been working because if you remember, this is a different train than the one I had before. But if you remember, I had uh, three of these trailers that you see right here on the tail end of this train and those are wood chips uh, trailers and they were holding potatoes so I, I had already changed the um, the cars to hold other um, bulk items the grain trailers are not working and I don't know what's wrong with them so what I did since I had the wood chip trailers here uh, that will hold everything. I just went out and I took out all of the uh, grain trailers and just put wood chip trailers in. They'll hold everything now. So if you notice now, all these uh, I can go ahead and uh, and put stuff in. So let's do some potatoes. By the way, I also changed it. They only held uh, ninety thousand, and I had them. Uh, I changed them so they hold a little bit more. So the traders will hold more. I don't know if I had to do that because obviously I've got quite a few cars lined up. I think I have a dozen cars lined up on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and let this thing fill up. We're going to go back out into the fields. Um, I also changed, now I did change this one. This one is uh, the lumber one and it's made for logs and wood chips on the end. So I didn't have to change it, but um, the woodchuck trailers hold everything anyway, so. Let's see, let me go back to this train. I did the same thing. I swapped out the grain trailers, the grain cars, and put in those cars. And then this one is strictly uh, fuel, or uh, crude oil tanks. So I'm going to run this one up, actually. Let's see. This one stops at around uh, the bottom of field 18, I guess. And it goes up to field uh, uh, 15 and then, or 16, I can't remember, and then down to, uh, to uh, field uh, 21. So I'm going to run around and pick up some of that crude oil that I gathered. And this one doesn't go too far. The, all these trains are kind of slow, though. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and cut that part out traveling there because it takes forever.
All right, we're coming into our destination here, and it took me roughly around three real life minutes to drive this train from down to uh, the uh, sawmill area up to here, which isn't that far really, but this map is just huge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in right here, and you'll notice that on the uh, counter there, I've got uh, 3483 um, crude in there already. So let me jump out of this train here. We're gonna run around and jump in my truck. And I picked up um, fuel, if you remember, in one of the last previous episodes, um, there's a uh, oil field over here. I picked up all the crude over there. There may be some more there because I think that was a, a farm day ago or so. And so there may be some more crude there. But I've got some in the truck here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and load this into these tanks right here. And it's done with that. Let's run and get some uh, crude into the train here. Okay, so I've got some crude in there. I'm going to leave this for here for now. Uh, when I get a chance, I'll get back in that truck and we'll go pick up some more crude oil. In the meantime, I've got harvesting I have to finish. So let's get to work on this. We're on field 49. I can't recall if I had... I did. Let's put this stuff up in 49. And... 49... Anything else? 49, 50, 61, 50, 35, 13. Okay. Let's go to 49 and see what we had. We have plow. Oh, boy. Um, that's my harvest, and I forgot to put harvest in. So let's just go with that. Start this guy up. All right. Let's see who we've got working. We've got uh, Mervyn Gilmore working this one. And this is field 35. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going round and round, wasn't I? Let me see how I'm doing here. No course. So this is 35. Right there, harvest 35. Let's put that away. And let's take a look at what I was doing. Um... I don't know. I think I already had my three. I think I had my three done. I think he's going to be going up and down now. I think that's what he was doing. So let's see if that's the case. Let's see what he's going to do if I turn him on there. That's what he was doing. So let's see here. Gino's working this one. And then we're on, what? Did I have two on 35? Really? Really? Well, evidently I did. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, this is the guy I had running um, this other end of the field. That's right, I combined combines up here. And uh, why is he only going 14, though? Let's kick that up. All right, and then let's just check. We've got, we've got Mervin, we've got Gino, and we've got Dar Smith. Uh, Dar always likes to farm. And then let's get some trucks going here. Uh, Kenworth, we're in field 49. And let's see if we've got uh, 49. Truck to train silo. And now I know I can use the trains. That's a good thing. So, All right, let's see. This guy's 35. Now, at one point, I had these uh, 
keyed to a particular combine, that has not, that has went away. So let's see if we can find what combine this guy was looking for. Uh, that one right there, probably. That's the one right there. Let's see, this one must be the other one, so he doesn't have a course loaded. Let's load up a course. That was field 35. So, uh-oh. Truck to farm silo right there. Let's put that away. Put that into group 35. Drive the course. Hopefully things are okay. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I think so. We got Steve Jones working this truck. And we've got uh, Step On on this truck. And what were we doing here? Let's find ourselves a combine. What happened? This, uh, this guy's got a combine. Okay, he's got a combine, but he I didn't start him. And that is uh, Alan Myers on this truck. I don't know where he's going. Holy smokes. All right, he must know where he's going. I'm trying to get around this canola field real quick. And I may, actually, he's waiting for a truck. He's almost done with his field as soon as his truck gets here. Ah, where's he at? What's he doing? Where's my truck? Alright, this is Steve. That's his one. Oh, he's not doing anything. Come on, Alan. There he goes. Where's he going, though? Hopefully he's going to his combine. I want to get this part of the field done before that canola ripens. Which reminds me, let me get let me get one of the grass guys up here. Uh, he's almost done. Let's let him finish up. And then uh, this one is done. Let's get up there. And uh, where are we? Field 49. Yeah, let's get up there and get that straw picked up. I'm taking this to the other farm. A quiet truck, a uh, tractor. Pretty quiet. I like that. Oh, there's straw to be picked up there too. Uh, okay, let me get this guy started here. And we'll get that other one taken down, too. Well, this guy's empty. Let me drive this over. We'll get that other grass one. He's close by. Am I going to need to buy another one of these? Perhaps. That one's got the weights. I need to get a set of weights for the other one. I kind of like that John Deere. but And you know it's not a John Deere. It's a skin. But the other forge wagon. Boy, I tell you, you got to have a lot of equipment on a farm this big because otherwise you're spending half your time just driving from one field to the other. It would have been nice if uh, if the 
places that you owned were not so far away. But it is what it is. I mean, you you can play your game any way you want. Uh, if you start this map, you could sell 49 and 50 and buy something closer to 35, or vice versa, sell 35. I would I would sell 49 and 50 if I wasn't playing it the way I'm playing it, and uh, and buy some fields down here closer to the main farm and start off from there. But I'm trying to. You know, play the fields the way I was dealt them when I bought the farm and use the train system to get the stuff around. All right, I'm heading down to 35 and take a shortcut through this field because it's not my field and I don't care. Nobody's looking. I don't know what the other farmer's doing, but he's not looking. He's not watching me. I still don't know what that super lag is because if you you know look I've got I'm doing 60 FPS if you look up in the upper right hand corner I'm doing 60 FPS and there's no problems I have no problems except for every once in a while it'll drop down to absolutely zero and I don't know why it's the weirdest thing okay so let's see what we've got here we're going to pick up some straw. So this is field 35. Let's do the harvest field 35. That'll tell me where this thing starts. Oh, let me grab that combine. That combine now it thinks he's doing wheat, but he's not. So let's stop him. And let's see about where he would start over yonder. I'm not quite sure where he's going to start here, so let's let's just start into this field here and get him going and see what he does from this point. Pretty close to the edge. Pretty close. All right, let's get that forage wagon going. Let's see this one. Uh, Troy Sawyer was working this. Let's uh, have him continue. Drive now and dump this grass. I'm gonna have him. Um, well, let's just let him go and see what he does. This one though, we need to set a course to go back to the farm with the straw. So let's shut that course down. We're gonna do one of these over here. Start the course recording. And then let's just flip a Yui here. With fields the size of this, I'm going to have straw like nobody's business, and I don't quite know what to do with it. I don't, I, I haven't completely looked at what's available on the map, and I'm not sure if there's a compost maker. I'll have to take a look. I don't recall seeing one, but I, but I didn't really look at the whole map. So there is a spot that you can put uh, placeables. I'm hoping it's near Train Depot. I just haven't got that far in the map. So, I mean, really, I'm only on day four. That's is this my turn? Um, uh, maybe. I think I screwed up. 
Did I? I get lost. This farm's so big. Maybe not. Maybe this is it. This is it. This is correct. All right. Just a little bit of a convoluted way to get here. Over the scale first. Dump the straw. When we get it. Back out to the field. Oh, I could. Oh, there's my turn. Oh, shoot. I missed it. Again, and head back out this way. I might have screwed this route up right back behind me there at that first corner going in. I might have been going too fast with a full load. It may jackknife on me there and hit that fence. I hope not. But I guess it won't take long to we'll find out. I'm gonna have to do it over. Another beautiful day for farming. Look at the look at the sunshine. Day four and all's well. Alright, quick quick Yui here. Get this show on the road. All right. Let's see. Uh, field thirty five, straw two, um, main farm. I guess I could have put farm silo, I suppose. Okay, did that do it? Did it get it? Did it do it? Do it, do it, do it, do it to it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get into here. We're going to do a harvest field 35. Right yonder there. I didn't do it, did I? What's going on? Stop it. There. Get that. And then we need straw to main farm. Let's put that up into field 35 folder and let's start this thing wait a minute let's start the show on the road there he goes 24 miles an hour can't ask for better let's see how everybody else is doing He's doing. Mervin's doing. Craig Dodds is running this now. Uh, Dar Smith is still working. We got him. Um, Steve Jones is uh, waiting his turn, I guess, with some canola. Canola. This is field 49. And Alan Myers is. Uh, Heading in with a semi-full load. And Stefan's just waiting his turn for his uh, combine. Looks like that combine's almost done. That one's just working up to beat the band. Hey, everything's going like clockwork here. Let's go check on the train system. And, and he's uh, full of potatoes. All right, he's full of potatoes. Let's move it forward a little.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop it. Stop it. When I open it, and the train's still running, it won't stop. It just keeps going like it's on cruise control. Okay, let's get the second load of potatoes. And what do we have here? This is the lumber. What did I do with my lumber? Where did I have my lumber equipment? There it is. What category did I put these under? I I have it in group eight. Okay. All right. So it's in group eight. Um, you know what I've never done? I've never because I'm not I'm not real big on lumberjacking. And uh, I've never actually taken logs and dropped them off at the lumber mill. I don't know how to do that. I've never done it. They're supposedly at the train station there's supposed to be a crane now I'm gonna drive through here because I want to see if there's any compost maker thingy in the bottle no I don't see one all right I don't see one let's see what this little helper sign says make your own biogas okay there's a, right there is a thing at Bandero there that I can put a placeable. And I'm just not quite sure what I need yet. So anyway, I've never done any kind of lumberjacking outside of the minimal grab the logs and take it in for a pallet maker. So I don't know how these things work, if they do work even, or if they're just for show. And I'm talking about those crane things. To uh, unload the logs, if you know what I mean. Now, I know I can't do it here. Let me see. I think in the back, there's a, a thing for the logs. Um, is it? Oh, it's across the tracks. How do I get over there? Is there no place to get over there? I'm afraid of getting stuck on the tracks, but let's see. Nah, so far so good. All right, there is a road back here, so there must be a way to tr cross the tracks. It must be up yonder, up ahead there. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. I've never done this before, so I don't know how this, does this crane work? Is it functional? Is it start auto load? But what does it do? How does it work? Or does it work at all? Start auto load. Start unload. Okay, but here's the thing, there's no train here. So do I have to have a train here? Um uh, Probably. Okay, I gotta get this guy. What's he doing? So I got that straw to pick up. Where, where are we here? I'm lost. This is field 50. Okay. Gotta go dump this grass. And I don't mean all over the field. Gotta watch where I'm driving. Crazy man. Alright, let's see. Let's go this way. Take a shortcut through this grass field. I guess I could go up to the road. Oh! Oh, this is a tractor that doesn't have weights on it. All right. Well, you know what? The dealer is right up here. I'll buy another set of weights while I'm up here. 
Oh, I gotta get rid of that uh, truck over there too, our trailer, because I'm not using it. A few more resources. This truck pulls, their tractor pulls pretty good. It's just if you speed, if you overspeed, it gets a little squirrely when you try to turn. And grass is heavier than straw. So this trailer really kind of pushes it. This is what I mean about that John Deere. I like it. It's, oh shoot. I like it. I, I really do. It's a nice uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, so as you see, when you try to make a sharp turn, the weight of the trailer is pushing the tractor. As far as the pulling goes, the tractor just does fine. It's just when you try to turn the weight of that trailer, it really pushes the tractor around. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this grass here. And I don't need it here, so I'll probably end up taking it to the main farm. All right, well that is doing that. Let's buy another weight. Where are the weights? There they are. And I'm going to get one of the adjustable ones, the SOB weights, and just make them black. Buy that, 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 and that. All right, here we go. Here we go, loop a de loo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Squirrely. It's not the tractor, it's the driver. I just get impatient and I can't drive the speed limit. I have a need for speed for some reason. Thank God I don't drive like that in real life. I actually don't drive a lot. I used to. Um, I don't really care to anymore much. I let my wife do a lot of the driving. It's better for her. She's one of these backseat drivers. And I'm not. So she can do whatever she wants. I'm not afraid. And uh, on the other hand, <coughs> excuse me. On the other hand, she's got her hand on the old shit stick, the old shit handle. All right. What key was it? Is it B? There it is. Okay, let's head up to that field. Start collecting that straw. Yeah, Carol, she's a nervous rider. She's, she's just, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You're on the freeway, if you pass a truck, or if it's a three-lane freeway, and you're in the middle lane, and there's a truck on each, in each of the other lanes, she's just holding on like, you know, you, her knuckles are white. She's gripping everything so hard. For those of you who don't know what the old shit handle is, in a car or a truck, there's that handle right above the door on the inside, you know, above the window. She's grabbing onto that like nobody's business. White knuckle in that. Holding onto the dashboard. I just tell her, why don't you just go to sleep? That's why I let her drive. It's easier that way. 
Alrighty, let's see. This is field uh, 50. So I'm going to go fill it up first. Let's just do a harvest field 50. I'll set the course later. I'm in a hurry right now. So let's just run it up here. and get it started. Let me go back to that train. Um, wow, it's not even went one time around the field. This field is so big. Do you know how much straw we're going to get off this field? Unbelievable. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. Let's run to the train. Which train was it? It's that, that one. It's this one. All right, let's grab uh, the next cart. Yeah, see, it's stalled again. I don't know what's causing that. All right, let's grab the rest of these potatoes, or as many as we can get, I suppose. And then, let's see, this is the lumber one, isn't it? Let's head this around. Somebody said, somebody suggested that I use this one to pick up my stuff at that uh, station because this one's got a little bit of everything on it. It's got the logging, it's got the, uh, the cars for the wood chips and a fuel one on the end. But there's, it, there wasn't enough capacity as far as I'm concerned. So I could have used this, but that's when it gave me the idea because the wood chip cars on this train and somebody suggested to use this train to pick up the stuff at that depot where I have my potatoes. And I thought, well, wait a minute. If that wood chip trailer will hold potatoes, then why? what's wrong with the grain trailers? And it led me to believe there's something wrong with the grain trailers. When I went into the map, I couldn't figure it out. They, it looks different than any other train setup that I've seen. So I just decided to uh, just swap out the grain trailers with the wood chip trailers that are set to hold everything. So there you go. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Everybody's in trouble. Let me go down and see what's going on here. All right. One of the Kenworths is stuck. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. All right. It's the other one that's causing the trouble. Let's back him out. Stefan. Stefan was causing a little bit of a trouble here. Let's get him out here and get him back to work. And then let's see what the deal is here. Alan, can you drive now? Are you okay, buddy? Um, I don't know where Alan's going because uh, he's empty. But that's okay. What's Stefan doing? Mervyn's heading back out to a combine. Steve is just sitting here. He must be done. Oh, goodness. Well, I guess so. Uh, just drive now. And this, this combine is actually finished. And he's empty. So... stop him and uh, he's finished he's done so this is field 49 uh, 49 and field 50 are done so let me put this combine away and I'll figure out later I might want to lease another field I might want some soybeans some sunflowers something like that because I want to start making some refined fuel. So 
so, but I'm going to just put this guy in the staging area here. And I need to get a cultivator, maybe. Maybe not. Has this got chopped straw on it? Is this, does this game have chopped straw? Let me see. It must, because it looks like it. Yes, it does. It's got chopped straw, which means I need a cultivator. All right. Everybody happy? No, they're not. No, they're not. Who's not happy? He's full. All right, I'll deal with him later. I just need to set up another course. So, that uh, needs to be unloaded. I'm going to stop him for now. Because I need to set up a course. I don't want to do that right now. Um, I don't have the time. I'll do it off camera. And, oh, jeez, what in the world? Steve, what are you doing? He's got his trailers hooked up. His trailers are screwed up. How do you fix that? There we go. Wow, that was weird. All right, Steve, I'm taking over. We're going to just head you out here. Because you're done anyway. Take this to the train depot. Get in where it's a little bit quieter. Not much, but a little bit. Now see, this is this is uh, this is how I'm used to playing right here, where I've got a half a dozen pieces of equipment running all at once, and and uh, in, on a real farm at harvest time, everybody works. You know, you've got hired hands, you've got family members, you've got the the wife and the farm daughters are cooking the meals, and you know because you've got a limited amount of time to get the harvest done before the weather. Uh, you know anything like that is when it's ready to come off it's ready to come off and you know that's how I use course play is to run all the equipment like you would in real life but people give me such a hard time about it Now my my play style if I had to drive one truck at a time, one tractor at a time and do all the work, I, I wouldn't play. It would be too boring for me. It just would. It just would not be fun for me. I'd like to I like to have everything working and and manage it. That's what a farmer does nowadays. If you go on the old farm when I was a kid, you just went out and worked from first light to last light at night and you know did what needed to be done and that was it uh, now you go into a modern farm and there's computers and there's telephones and cell phones and and video cameras and you know you've got uh, GPS you've got uh, monitor screens in your tractors and combines and you know it's a business and You've got to know accounting, you've got to know banking, you've got to know the economy and economics and all kinds of stuff. It's just completely different than it was when I was a kid. All right, let's see. This was, uh, I'm leaving this guy here. This is the farm one. Yeah, this is the farm one. And let's move him forward see what we got left let's see let me keep there we go all right so we're gonna put oh we still have potatoes I'm telling you we got a lot of potatoes on um, I tell you what I am going to end the episode here and in the next episode we'll just continue on finishing up this harvest uh, hopefully that canola will be ready to go. Hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next episode. Happy farming.